I, I heard that um, a little birdie told me that you have a book coming out. I do, I do. Yes, it's called you want to... The Fall of Terra. It's, a, it's a, my first fiction, first novel. Wow, yeah. congratulations. How long did that take and what was the inspiration? Well, you know, Mel's in our writing group and John and Bella have come a few times and we, we I started this thinking it would be six weeks, five years ago, and we're still going strong every other Sunday. And we write 20 minutes at a time. And so a story idea got born out of one of those sessions and then it just kept evolving. And now it's actually gonna be a trilogy. So I'm halfway through the second book and this first one is gonna be out on February 8th. And is this your first time writing a book? Not my first time writing a book, but my first time writing fiction, yes. Okay, so your first time writing fiction. And yeah. is this, um, is it based on, so the inspiration, what was the inspiration for that? Well, it's, um, well, it was kind of interesting because sometimes we notice when we're writing in the group that our, there's some cross-pollination in the, on the, on the uh, non-linear and people kind of pick up things from- And write about the same thing. That in the words and the prompt and so, that kind of happened where actually Mary and I had written a, about, I wrote about a monk in the 1400s and she wrote about an art historian in the uh, in contemporary. Perfect. And the, But the room they were in was exactly the same. It's like we both wrote the same setting for these two people. And I thought, well, I think they need to get together kind of Outlander style. And for a minute, we thought we'd write a book together. And but then we decided our friendship was more important. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I was really she busy. Was I said, I can't do it right time. now. You take over. Yeah. So I uh, I started writing that book, which is sort of a, it's not exactly time travel, but these two people connect through an illuminated manuscript. And then at a certain point, I needed to write the backstory for these souls, really. And uh, I thought, well, I'll just write that for me as the author. And then, you know, 80,000 words later, I realized I had the prequel, like that's the sole history of these characters and why they're going to reconnect throughout time. So because they're carriers of light. So it's a kind of metaphysical fiction book with a lot of interesting messages. And also, I, I think it's a pretty entertaining story. It's a wildly entertaining story. Yeah, Mary's story. hard to please. She read yeah, it. Yeah, I get bored really quick. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I couldn't put it down. Yeah. That's so, the truth. So anyway, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for mentioning it, Phoenix. I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. I, I, I've i been, I'm looking at the, uh, the, the book cover right now. Um, and I got to tell you, like, just even when I opened the link and I looked at the book cover, it's like something jumped out at my soul. Um, okay. I love uh, whoever did your illustrations and your design. Yeah, I'm working with them for the paperback cover. And I'm that's good to hear because I've been it's been a journey. It's been a long. <laughs> but yeah, thanks. Yeah, that's just great. the choice of font and the, the lighting around the font. Uh, it all it just kind of jumps off the page. So yeah, that's something that's, that's very, very interesting. Thank you. That's helpful.